scores. So you can just see Portland pressing on early. First thought, can we play forward? Can we find our front runners of Weaver rolling outside or Sophia Smith? Here's Smith. That's a shove in the back. Still going. Smith with the strike. What a sensational goal for the 20-year-old Sophia Smith. From Orlando, you can see four players that are completely caught out. Peterson getting caught out, but again, their number's up. You have three players behind the ball and no one putting adequate pressure on Sophia Smith. Far too much time and space. Now, yes, it is a brilliant strike. Well hit, just perfectly placed, but too many players. Klingenberg taken down, edge of the box. The whistle is blown. Be shocked if this wasn't a, a PK opportunity for Portland. But we talked about this in the pregame with Klingenberg and what she has. Defensively, she's sound. For the pride. Can she keep out Rocky Rodriguez? Huge opportunity here for the Thorns. She's got Providence Park cheering her on. Here's Rodriguez. The kick, oh. saved by Harris. And she gives the finger. The PK, looking to get one back. Still Rodriguez, crosses it, header. Saved again by Ashlyn Harris. Because you have a player like Harris that steps up time and time again. She instills the confidence, and this is why the Pride have been winning. Corniak gets a leg in there. Nicely done by Laura Rodriguez, the referee, to get out of the way. Through ball, Sophia Smith. All alone, oh. Miss hits it. And it's a great build-up play, just eluding the pressure here in the midfield for Portland. Good heads-up play, brilliant run from Sophia Smith, and just Miss hits this one. But this is what happens when you do have a goalkeeper of Harris that is making big-time saves. She comes out big, she comes out strong. Klingenberg, plenty of room, looking for the shot! A beautiful goal! Marissa Everett with a stunner on a stellar service from Megan Klingenberg. And Portland leads 2-0. All around, they tried to close off centrally, not allowing Portland to play through them. Now they're giving them far too much time and space on the wing. Klingenberg has acres of time. She has acres of opportunity to pick players out. It's a great ball into the box. It's fantastic service. Ashlyn Harris gets a hand on it, but just far too much power with the header from Everett. A well-deserved goal. And just, again, too much time and space. Looking for Klingenberg. Klingenberg in the box. The extra pass cleared. And you can see Jan's daughter knows it's a sloppy clearance from her. She puts her hand up. But again, it's just the pressure that Portland keep pouring on this pride side. It's time and time again, whether it's from set pieces, whether it's from build up play. Again, Angela Salem's not a good ball into the box. She knows it. But again, Jan's daughter just not hitting this one night right, not getting the clearance on it. Bixby has been sensational. Here's one more chance, perhaps. Ooh. Just as I said it, a goal for the pride. Bixby's shutout streak is over, and a stunner from Vigiano. How is this for a strike? Starts with Krieger down this right-hand side, getting more into the attack. Kim a little bit quiet since coming off the bench, but a brilliant ball from Kim, finding Vigiano top of the box. And how about this for a strike? And this is why Portland have been dangerous. And I do apologize to any Orlando fans out there that definitely felt like the old commentator's curse. There's the final whistle, Portland moves into first place, sole possession of first place, with a victory here at home, 2-1 over the Orlando Pride.